Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to guide you through how to use Sell the Trend for dropshipping in 2025. This platform has become one of the most popular tools for dropshippers because it makes finding trending products so much easier. If you're looking to streamline your dropshipping business and find products that are already proven to sell, you've come to the right place. First things first, to get started, you'll need to create an account with Sell the Trend. To do this, use the link in the description below to go directly to the website and sign up for a free trial. Once you're on the homepage, you'll see the option to start a free trial. Go ahead and click on Start Free Trial. This will allow you to explore the platform without any commitments up front. Next, you'll be prompted to sign up using one of three options – Google, Facebook or just with your email. After signing up, you'll be redirected to the main page of Sell the Trend. Now that you're logged in, the first thing we'll do is connect your store to Sell the Trend. This is essential because it allows you to add the products you find to your actual dropshipping store. You'll see a button that says Connect Store. Click on this and you'll be asked to select which platform you want to use. If you already have a store on Shopify, WooCommerce or another platform, you can choose that. For this tutorial, we're going to use Shopify, so let me go ahead and open my Shopify store. Once you're in your Shopify store, head back to Sell the Trend and select the Shopify option. Click Install from App Store and then hit the Install button. The app will ask for permission to access certain store data, like your personal details and store information. This is standard, so as long as you're comfortable with this, click Install to proceed. Once the app is installed, your Shopify store will now be connected to Sell the Trend. Now that your store is linked, it's time to start adding products to your store. On the main dashboard of Sell the Trend, you'll see a button that says Add Products. Click on that and you'll be redirected to the product selection page, which showcases the most popular products available. These are products that are trending, in high demand and have the potential to bring in sales. Before selecting a product, let's take a moment to explore the various filters available that can help you find the right product for your store. On the page, you'll notice a section called Nexus, where you can filter products by their popularity, such as hot products, trending or on the rise. If you want products that have already proven to sell well, I recommend choosing either hot products or trending. These products have a history of sales, which can give you confidence that they are in demand. If you want to narrow your options even further, Sell the Trend also lets you filter products based on where they are popular. For example, you can filter products that are performing well on platforms like AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping or Amazon. This gives you additional insight into where the products are being sold and helps you make more informed decisions about which products to add to your store. Let's assume you know your niche or target market. On the left side of the page, there's a filter for categories and niches. This allows you to select a specific niche for your store, such as consumer electronics, home and garden, or health and wellness. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose consumer electronics because it's a niche I'm familiar with. After selecting your category, Sell the Trend will filter the products to show only those that fit within that niche. If you want to refine your product selection even further, Sell the Trend provides additional filters that allow you to narrow products based on criteria such as price range, order volume, supplier ratings and more. This is incredibly useful if you're looking for specific types of products to sell. For instance, if you want a product with a specific price range or want to target high selling items, you can adjust the filters accordingly. Once you've filtered the products, it's time to choose one. Let's say I'm interested in selling a drone, so I'll select the Professional Drone E88. When I click on the product, I'm taken to a page with detailed information about the item. On this page, you'll see a variety of stats and insights about the product, such as the product cost, selling price, profit margin, and the number of orders it's received. There's also a graph showing the product's performance over time, which helps you understand whether it's trending up or down in sales. 
you'll notice that this product might have a strong spike in demand during certain months, indicating that it's a seasonal product. Pay attention to these trends to see if this product is right for your store. Additionally, you'll see details like the number of suppliers selling the product, the number of stores offering it, and the overall competition in the market. In this case, we can see that the competition for this product is low, which might give us a good chance of standing out with our own store. Another helpful feature is the ability to view related ads for this product. You can see what kind of ads other sellers are running to promote the same product, which can give you inspiration for your own marketing campaigns. If you want to create your own ads, Sell the Trend also offers a Facebook targeting tool. This tool provides you with valuable data on how to target your ads on Facebook to ensure you're reaching the right audience for your product. If you've decided this product is a good fit for your store, simply click on the Add to Store button. A new page will appear asking you to select a source for the product details. You can choose from various stores or websites, and once you select the one that suits you, the product details will be automatically populated. You'll see the product title, description, tags, images, and even the price, all ready to go. At this point, you can make any changes you'd like to the product's details. You can adjust the title, modify the description, and even change the images to make the product look better on your site. Sell the Trend also gives you the option to choose a different supplier if you want, or you can use their AI-powered supplier finder to choose the best supplier for your product. Once you've customized the product details to your liking, click on the Push to Store button. This will add the product to your Shopify store. It might take a few minutes for the product to appear in your store, but once it's done, you can go to your Shopify dashboard and you'll see that the product is listed in your Products section. When you click on the product in Shopify, you'll be able to view all the details such as the name, description, images and price. Now you're ready to start selling this product to your customers. In addition to the basics, there are several advanced features in Sell the Trend that can boost your dropshipping business. One key feature is the product research tool, which shows you trending products with real-time data. This helps you focus on products that are already selling well, giving you a head start. You also get access to a marketplace comparison tool that allows you to check prices and suppliers across multiple platforms like AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping and Amazon. This can help you find the best prices and maximize your profit margins. Another important feature is automated order fulfillment. When a customer buys a product, Sell the Trend automatically fulfills the order on your behalf, saving you time and effort. Sell the Trend also offers insights into product trends over time, so you can predict which products will perform well in the future. This helps you choose items that will have steady sales, especially during seasonal peaks. Additionally, you'll find a competitive analysis tool, which shows the level of competition for each product. If a product has low competition, it might be a great opportunity to sell, while high competition products may need extra marketing efforts to stand out. Facebook Ads Targeting is another helpful tool. It provides Facebook ad targeting suggestions based on the product you're selling, helping you reach the right audience without extensive research. Advanced filters allow you to narrow down products by criteria like order volume, rating, and price. This helps you find products with strong sales potential and low competition. For Shopify users, Sell the Trend integrates directly, letting you easily add products to your store with just a few clicks. This makes managing your store more efficient. The Marketplace Comparison feature allows you to check prices across suppliers to find the best deal. This is crucial for keeping your product pricing competitive and your margins healthy. Finally, Sell the Trend has an intuitive dashboard to track your sales, monitor product performance, and adjust your strategy accordingly. It also helps with niche selection, letting you find trending products in various categories like electronics, fitness, and home goods. Don't forget to optimize your product listings for SEO. Customize product descriptions and titles to make them more search-friendly, which can drive more traffic to your store. Marketing your products effectively is also essential. 
Use the insights you gain from Sell the Trend to tailor your marketing efforts and target the right audience. And that's it. You've successfully learned how to use Sell the Trend to find trending products, add them to your store, and start selling. If you'd like to try Sell the Trend for yourself, remember to use the link in the description below to start your free trial and begin exploring the platform's features.